Satanic oppression is real everywhere, in every nation of the earth. But more real is the victory won on the cross through the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. By this you have access to the abundant life that brings deliverance from all satanic oppression, dominion, prosperity, and breakthrough. This is your moment of breakthrough, brought to you by Pastor Isaac and Dominion Life Christian Center, Oakland, California. Hallelujah, it is the moment of breakthrough again. It is your moment and time to break through by the power that is in the word of God in Jesus' mighty name. God's word is going to be spoken to you and I believe the word of the Lord will locate you in the right place in Jesus' mighty name. I am Pastor Isaac from Dominion Life Christian Center in Oakland. Your uh, host on the moment of breakthrough. Now, today I'm going to be looking into the word of the Lord. We're going to look into the part three of the living word for profitable living. So, the word of God can bring you into a life of profitability. You can profit in every area of life on the principles of the Bible. Now, in the book of Hebrews, chapter 4 and verse 12, the Bible says, For the word of God is living and powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit, and of joints and marrow. For the word of God is living and powerful. For the word of God is living and powerful. Now, the word of God is contained in this book called the Bible. So, inside God's word is your profiting. Inside the word of the Lord is the solution to the challenges of your life. You make the Bible your friend. You live a life of victory. You live a life of peace, life of fulfillment in the name of Jesus. So, by living in the word of the Lord. Now, hear me, the Bible is your living manual for maximum expression on earth. The Bible is not a religious book. The Bible is the creator's book for maximizing destiny. To live your life and destiny to the peak of your potentials in life, you can do that by following the principles of the Bible. So, the Bible is not a mystical book to quote and just quote and not practice. The Bible is not a book for the archive. The Bible is a living manual. It is the book you look into every day because you live every day. The Bible contains the spiritual food to live in this world, to be sustained and to be preserved in this world. So, the word of God for profitable living, the word of the Lord. And now, we're going to go into God's word, but before I say that, Napoleon Bonaparte says something. He said, the Bible is a living force that confronts whatever stands in its way and wins them all. The Bible is a living force that confronts whatever stands in its way. And the Bible always wins them all. That's why the Bible can never be defeated. No matter what you do to persecute the Bible, whatever you do against the Bible, you can win. Because you can not win the whole mighty God. The Bible is God's book. The Bible is the breath of God. The Bible is God's solution to the problem of humanity. So, the Bible is a living force drawn from the breath of God. Hear me, people of God. The Bible is the solution to all your problems. The word of God will solve every situation in your life. That is why a 
Christian, as a Christian, the friend, the, the Bible becomes your greatest companion. Not to carry the all around, but you digest what is in there. You read it, you study it, and it becomes life unto you. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, for the power that is in the world, that is in your word. Hear what the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 20. 20. It says, my son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. For they are life to those who find them. Every revelation you find from God's word will turn your life around. Every revelation you find will make you a winner any day. A word from the Lord will change your life forever when it is revealed. So I'm not just talking about pacing through uh, the pages of the Bible or flipping through or reading. I'm talking about daily study of the word of the Lord. Now, it says, for they are life to those who find them. You must assess the deep or the depth of scriptures to find it, to find the revelations. Hear me, there is a solution to anything that you face in life. Every opposition, everything that is against your life has a solution rooted in the Bible, rooted in God's word, but you must find it. The Bible should be the first thing you turn into when devil or Satan comes knocking in your door. Now, everything answers to the word. It is for their life to those who find them and health to all their flesh. One area that the enemy is attacking and is being on the rampage against the people in the world today is in the area of their health through the power of sickness. The Bible says, for their health to all their flesh, you can find divine health from God's word because that's where it is. You can find healing if you are already afflicted. You can find healing from the word of the Lord. The Bible says, for the word of God is living and powerful. The word of God is a living word. The word of God has the power over sicknesses. The word of God has the power to break anything the word of power the word of god has the power to melt anything that is against your life so but you must find it when you find it now it's not that you have just read it you digest it let me show you something the bible says here in the book of joshua chapter one <laughs> thank you jesus the bible says here after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass, I'm reading from Joshua chapter 1, from verse 1 through 8, that the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' assistant, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, you and all these people to the land which I am giving to them, the children of Israel. Every place that the soul of your soul Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given you. So I said to Moses, from the wilderness and this Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Ephraim, all the land of the Hittite, and to the great sea, towards the going down of the sun, shall be your territory. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life, as I was with Moses. Now, in verse 7, because of time, it says, Only be strong and very courageous, that you may observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that you may prosper wherever you go. Then in verse 8, this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, then you will have good success. Hear me. Moses died. The Lord appointed Joshua to lead the people, to lead his people into the promised land, to complete the assignments. And he gave him the Bible. And he said, this book of the Lord shall not depart from 
your mouth in other words the book of the lord the bible my word is the weapon now joshua's assignment was to lead a generation of uh, of, uh, of, uh, of God's people and lead them to their promised land, God recommended his word, the Bible. He said, then you will make your way prosperous and you will have good success. Hear me, people of the Lord. Your prosperity is in God's word. Your health is in, is in God's word. The fulfillment of your destiny is in God's word. The enforcement of your inheritance in the Lord can only be assessed by the applications of the word. So it's not just knowing that is in the Bible, it must be revealed, then you begin to apply them on the daily basis. Now, if you have sickness in your body, for example, you apply the scriptures daily, like you take vitamins. You read the word of the Lord into your situation that concerns you. And every day, hear me, you're going to see God's power go to work in your life. So, that's what he said. He gave me somebody that needs leadership skill. And I want to speak to you. If you have a position of leadership, you have a position of responsibility that you lead some people. It could be in a corporate setting. It could be in, 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 in politics, in the government. <laughs> the Bible is your friend. The Bible, God's word, is your best bet. Because in NA, the wisdom of God will make you a better leader. Because that's what the Lord recommended to Joshua. Now, in the book of James, chapter 1, verse 21 to 25, he says, Therefore, lay aside all filthiness and overflow of wickedness, and receive with meekness the implanted word which is able to save your souls. He says, Receive with meekness, receive with meekness of heart with humility receive god's word not putting forward your senses not putting forward your intelligence receive with meekness the implanted it says word which is able to save your soul so the word of god has the ability to save your souls he says, but be doers of the word and not hearers only. So don't be hearers only. Don't be readers only. Don't, you have to do it. You have to apply it. He says, when you don't do it, when you don't apply it, deceiving yourself. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man observing is natural face in the mirror in the mirror that's what it says and also you know what the bible says in hebrews chapter 4 verses 1 2 3 it says therefore since a promise remains of entering his rest there is a promise of rest for you there is a promise of peace for you it was for that purpose that Jesus came. He says, since a promise remains, he said, let us fear lest any of you seem to have come short of it. So let's be careful that you don't miss the rest. For indeed the gospel was preached to us as well to them. But the word which they had did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in those who had it. So, he said, the word, God's word, only brings your profit in when it is mixed with faith. So, how do you mix in with faith? By acting on it. When you act, when you apply, when you do what the word of God says, that is mixing it with faith, then that brings your profit in to appear. You can be a Christian, a church going christian without a profiting if you are not a doer of the word so it is more than church attendance you must apply the word for your profiting to appear and i believe that is why church people still get sick church people can still live in lack but it is those that mix it with faith and your action authenticates your faith 
So when you mix it with, with faith, you act on what you heard or what you read, then it brings your profit in. It brings your result. Now, he says something. He says, for we who have believed, do enter the rest. Now, how do you know that you believe by acting on it? <laughs> faith is not just knowing that God can do it. Faith is, is acting based on what you know or what you believe. Every belief without an action is not a valid faith. Your action authenticates your faith. Your action proves, validates your faith. So until you have acted, many people believe God for financial prosperity. How many people are acting on what the Bible says? It is always give. It shall be given to you. You knowing that God owns the cattle upon a thousand hills. You knowing that the silver and the gold alone uh, belongs to him alone. Not enough. He says, bring your tithes and your offerings into my house. Hear me. Only a seed that guarantees an harvest. The Bible says, in the, in the, story, in, in the case of Cain and Abel, the Bible says, Abel offered unto the Lord a more acceptable sacrifice. And God had respect, God honored the sacrifice of Abel. Then God blessed them. So, uh, Knowing that God can bless, not enough to be blessed. Knowing that God is rich, not enough for you to be part of it. Your action authenticates your faith. Wherever your church is, wherever you worship, you don't joke with your tithe. You pay your tithe. You bring your tithe to the Lord. And also, I said sometimes, I said, only see, that's a future. Every commitment, financial commitment towards the preaching of God's word becomes a seed sown on a good soil. So, uh, let's take this opportunity uh, to tell you, you can send your seeds, your offerings, as the Holy Spirit lays on your heart to the moment of breakthroughs. P.O. Bus 19316, Oakland, California. And the zip code is 94619. Also, you can send to the church address 3814 MacArthur Boulevard, Oakland, California, 94619. Or the address will be on the screen, or you can check us on the website for more details. And uh, a seed. Now, not because we are in need to remain on television. God commanded the moment of breakthrough. And for every kingdom project, there is a kingdom budget. So we have access to every, everyone's account to tap into God's budget for moment of breakthrough. So our bills are paid, well paid in advance. So when you do, you do it as a seed for you to tap into the anointing of the Holy Ghost for your own finances. So send those seeds offering the Lord bless you as you do that. And the God of multiplication will multiply back to you. And also let me say this to you. I'm talking about acting on the word of the Lord. Now, if you believe God for healing, you don't hurt. You don't hurt sickly. If you believe in God for health, you don't talk death. You want to live, you don't talk about death. You want to be in health, you don't talk about sickness. Now, what I'm saying is this, you don't confess them. 
you confess what the word of the Lord says, that's the action that you need to overturn the situations in your life. Now, it says, For we who have believed do enter that rest, as he said, so I swore, in my wrath they shall not enter the rest until you act. The difference between a winning Christian with testimonies and exploit is your act of faith. You act on it first. No, don't wait for God to move before you begin to do what you know you should do. God is waiting for you to do it. Your moves moves the hand of the Lord. When you move, the hand of God is moved over your lives. And I want to say this to you about God's word. We are God's product. You and I, we are God's product. And the Bible is God's book. What do I mean? Psalms 103 and verse 3, the Bible says, Know that the Lord is God. It is He who has made a horse, not we ourselves. We are His people and the sheep of His pastor. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. So, you were made by God. You were God's product. Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 5. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were formed by God, I knew you. So, we are God's product. Now, the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 34 and verse 16, Search from the book of the Lord. Not one of these shall fail, nor one shall lack a mate, for my mouth has commanded it, and the Spirit has gathered them. Search from the book of the Lord. You are God's product. The Bible is God's book. The Bible is your manual for living. Whatever is not in God's word, it's not for you to function in. So if you live in struggle, the struggle is not God's plan for your life. If you live in brokenness, that is not the plan of the Lord for your life. God's plan for you was to live in total to dominion, complete authority. So you need a breakthrough. You need to break through into God's intentions for your life. Thank you, Jesus. Because I sense in the Holy Ghost that today is your day to break through. This is your hour of deliverance in the name of Jesus. Because the power of God in his word we go to work on your behalf in the name of Jesus. You have gone through it for too long. Now is the time to break through. Now is the time to move forward. Now is the time to come out of the trap and the dungeon of Satan. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of life. I speak God's word over your life. And I speak as Ezekiel spoke in chapter 37, the valley of the dry bones. That everything drying up in your life will receive God's life and live again. I just need you to join me and begin to prophesy over your life. Your health is going to come back alive again. Your finances is going to live again in the name of Jesus. These situations will not lead you into bankruptcy. These situations will not lead to a fatal collapse of your prosperity in the name of Jesus. Because the power of God, the word of the Lord, the living and the powerful God, the living and the powerful word of God is being spoken into your life right now. Hear me, people of God. Hear the voice of the Lord. You are going to live again in Jesus' name. Nothing will die in your life. Just as the as in that valley of the dry bones, and everything came together, bones to bones, flesh to flesh, and it became a living being. Being no matter the verdict, no matter what the doctor have, doctors have said, no matter what the surgeons have said, hear the 
word of the Lord, you're going to live again in Jesus' name. Because indeed now is your time to break through. You have broken through in the name of Jesus. The Bible is God's book. You are God's product. You must respond. And situations must respond to the manual for your life. The word of God is the living word for your profiting or for profiting, profitable living. The word of the Lord and the situations against your life and the works of Satan against your life, we soon hear the word of God in the name of Jesus. You have been keeping quiet too much. Now begin to speak God's word. It is the moment of breakthrough. If you have never given your life to Christ, pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I thank you for your death and your resurrection on the cross. Thank you for saving me. I embrace everything you have done on Calvary for me. Write my name in the book of life. I renounce and I reject Satan, sin and all his works. I am born again. Come into my heart. Come today. Thank you, Jesus, for what you have done. In Jesus' mighty name. If I pray that prayer, you are born again. I tell you, the devil does not have a final say in your life. The prescriptions, the, the, the diagnosis is not the final authority in your life. It is what the word of God says. Believe what the word of God says about you. You will experience it in the name of Jesus. Don't forget that now, today, is your moment of breakthrough. You have broken through. You will see the manifestations in Jesus' mighty name. I'm glad you are with me on this program today, the moment of breakthrough. I would like to get you acquainted with our service schedules, both in San Jose and in Oakland, California. It will be great to see you in one of these meetings. Every week, we have a Dominion Celebration Service here in Oakland, 11 a.m. The address is 3814 MacArthur Boulevard, Oakland, California. It's 11 a.m. on Sundays, and our midweek service is on Thursday at 7 p.m., the same address in Oakland. Also, I look forward to seeing you in San Jose. If you live in San Jose or you live around San Jose, Dominion Life and Moment of Breakthrough is coming close to you. The address is 286 Bernard Avenue in San Jose, California. It will be good to see you there. I minister there live on Wednesdays. The time is 7 p.m. on Wednesdays. And on Sunday morning, it is 9 a.m. So one of these days, come and fellowship with us. Come and be blessed. Come to experience the life-changing power of God. Come and exercise dominion. Come and experience what it takes to live a life of dominion. God bless you. See you.